Uh, they had a really good game plan, you know, just unfortunately some tough situations. Uh, they didn't let me, you know, get other people involved as much as I do, so that was big. Uh, they, let, like, they stayed on Quaid and didn't let them get a roll up and things like that. So they took up our, our rhythm. Uh, Kenny and I making shots hurt a little bit, so they could, if Kenny was in shots, they would have to start playing a little bit more honest, but that's okay. You know, we got our feet under the first game. Ball, it's a tough game. When the team start chipping threes like they were, how do you stem that momentum? Keep your head about it, about yourself. Uh, yeah, you just gotta stay, uh, stay confident. You know, stick to the game plan. You know, when the team's starting threes like that, it can also keep you. You know, take you away from what you do. You know, cause you to have turnovers and stuff like that. Uh, we did a good job of staying solid, sticking to our game plan. All the time. Cassius, a lot of the team members were really struggling in this one. How were you able to take control and? really carry your team through a bunch of stretches? Uh, just being aggressive, you know. Making, I pride myself on just making the right play. Uh, you know, that was just was open. You know, they did a good job of just sticking to other guys, not letting me get other people involved in that way. So they forced me to be a scorer today. Was this another one of those intense half times that you guys have had as many of us here? Yeah, uh, not not as worse because, you know, you, you know how it goes. You know, we weren't we weren't necessarily playing bad. We just weren't playing how we play. You know what I'm saying? And when you're not making shots and you know things like that, that that always you know it makes stuff look a lot worse when you're not hitting shots. So we weren't playing bad, but we weren't playing as best we could, and we we're still only down one. So you know they had a lot we could fix, and coming on the second half, we we tried to do that. The last eight rounds and halves have been kind of your thing. Uh, how are you able to summon up another one today? Oh, uh, you know, just you know, in the game you need three possessions, you know, especially down the stretch. If you make three possessions, you know, in the last ten minutes of the game, that can really can open up the game. So we pride ourselves on getting three stops, you know, three three plays like that. And you know, once it finally happened, we broke it open. What do you take from this experience in this first game? Uh, you know, you can't take any for granted. You know, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Uh, you gotta <laughs> you gotta keep fighting, keep playing. And at the end of the day, you know, winning is all that matters. Cassius, you've seen, you've seen uh, Izzo get angry before, but when he went after Aaron Hedder a little bit, you sort of stepped in there and stuff. Was that out of character? Not out of character, but was that even more so than normal was or what? Oh, uh, no, it was just, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I understand where he's coming from, and I feel like at that moment I, I could get the message to him better. You know what I'm saying? So I stepped in and said, you know, what do you need me to say? And I, I'll handle it. That's, that's all that was. I just felt at that moment, you know, it's, he's going through a lot right now. You know what I'm saying? He's a freshman. He's playing on a, a top whatever team. Man. And, you know, we got all these expectations and things like that. So, ain't no telling what's going through his head. So, I just felt like at that moment, you know, I could get the message to him better. How much you guys?